Hi, uh, welcome to my Type 65 Factory 5 build. Uh, this is my first build with Factory 5, although I've done some work with my old Firebird. Uh, painted that, did everything on that. But this is definitely a nice learning experience for me, and it's a nice opportunity to not have rusted parts that I'm constantly bashing apart and having to fix. So, uh, so overall, so far, uh, great. Uh, one thing I want to document that was sort of confusing to me that might be helpful to other people is setting up the steering rack. There's some great guys online on the Factory 5 forum and they, they sent me, I wouldn't know how to do this without them. And I just want to sort of break it down in a way that makes sense for me. So in the future, other people maybe can benefit from it and... I, if I have to change something in the future, I can look back and say, how did that work? I have a record of it. Uh, basically, you begin, with, like once you got all your stuff in, your suspension, upper and lower arms and whatnot, you got the steering rack. The steering rack, pretty straightforward. You mount it in the hole, that's, that's a no-brainer. Then the problem becomes, when you start to look at things, get the angle of the wheels correct, why won't the tie rods, the tie rods for me, they were way the heck out here. So that would be, the car would be pigeon toed outwards and it would look absolutely terrible. It would, and it would not function. So the guys in the Factory 5 Forum, what they explained to me, uh, and I think I have, it, I have it all correct now, finally, is that you have to remove this boot. This is all new from Factory 5 and you have to center the rack in the frame. What that means is you have to pick a fixed spot on the frame. So for me, I picked the top of the lower control arms and I put a straight edge along here. I pulled back the boot and I made a mark on this rubber bu bu bushing or a limiter, whatever they call this thing. And I carefully measured until this distance, so that the frame from here to here, and then on the other side, did the same setup. I want that distance from the edge of that ruler to that center line of this bushing, I wanted to make that the same. And so you do that by rotating the steering shaft until you get that. When you do do that, okay, I'm gonna get a different angle. You're gonna notice that the distance between here and here on that side and the distance on the other side are not equal. That's because the frame, the rack, is not centered in the frame. You're just trying to center the travel, like the distance between the tie rods and whatnot. So that's what's centered. Once I had it centered, I marked it on this input shaft or the steering where the steering shaft goes in, and I marked that so then I knew. So after I centered it in the frame, centering in the frame is first, then I went ahead and I measured my tie rods just to verify that they were the same because I guess in some kits they are a little different. And mine were 10 inches long, this is for the inner tie rod right here, inner tie rod. And I measured them. And they were 10 inches, I'm like okay no problem. Then I went ahead and I picked a measurement, yeah, let's see. This is what it is right now. I think I originally picked, oh, actually that's right around, right, I picked right around two inches initially, and I threaded that nut on there, and I put the tie rods in. I was sticking way too far out with the tie rods. I couldn't get them, they were not going in. I had them bottomed out by wrenching on them with my arms as hard as I could. And what I discovered is the tie rods the threads inside here were really wonky and I had to take a different rod and I had to ram a big long bolt in here to clean off the threads and then I had about an inch, I gained an inch and a half of clearance. So then all of a sudden, the frame is centered in the frame. This distance between here and here was equal, this was equal. Then I ran to my last problem. I noticed that this arm I had one side, I'm like, why do I have an inch extra on here? I looked at both sides, and then this arm needs to be pointing out. As soon as I did that, everything fell right into play, 
and everything is now lined up pretty much perfectly on that front end. I don't have the steering wheel in it or anything, but there's our brakes and rotors. And that's phase one of my Factory 5 build.